from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Yes. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. A different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. (laughs) Here we are together again on the radio. You know, I always love to expose you to something new. There's always something new out there. There's always new technology. There's always new forms of entertainment. There are new artists. There's always something new going on. And we at the Tom Likas Show like to consider ourselves at the cutting edge of pop culture. When there is something new, you know about it. We tell you about it. Many times you hear about things on this program long before. You hear about them uh, anywhere else. Many times you come to us, you say, I remember you talked about that six months ago. And you're right, because many times I did. Now, I am going to play you a, a, a new artist, one you you may or may not have heard before. But um, I do like to show support for new talent. And uh, as we play this, I want you to listen because this is somebody you know. It's somebody you've heard of, but this is a side of her you've never heard before. So let's listen together, and then I will take your telephone calls, and we will see if you can guess who this is. you keep listening as we go to your calls here 1-800-5800-TOM name the artist you don't have to scream him Dean I'm going right to the phones here it's the Tom Likas show who is this are you there we're on the radio and you have the radio turned all the way up who is the artist on this song Tila Tequila no it's not Tila Tequila the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah. 
Hi there. Who? Britney Spears? Britney Spears? Yeah. Nope, it's not Britney Spears. It's the Tom Lika Show. Can you name the artist on this song? Can you name anything? How about um, I think it's Hogan's daughter. Who? Hogan's Hulk daughter. Hulk Hogan's, Hogan's, Hogan's daughter? daughter? No, <laughs> it's not. Hello, it's the Tom Lika Show. Can you name the artist on this song? Okay, uh, the Tom Lika Show. Are you there? Yep. Can you name the artist on this song? Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears. No. It's the Tom Lika Show. Can you name the artist of this song? I guess you can't. It's the Tom Lika Show. Are you there? Yes, I am. Can you name the artist of this song? Ashley Simpson. It is not Ashley Simpson. It's the Tom Lika Show. Can you name the artist of this song? Guess not. It's the Tom Lika Show. Are you there? Yes, I'm sorry. I got cut off. I was on a minute ago. Why? Well, I'm going to ask you the same question I was going to ask when you were calling with your extraneous comment. Uh, do you know the name of the artist in this song? No, I'm afraid you got... Hello? See, that? I figured as much. The Tom Lika... That's why I hung up on you the first time. The Tom Lika Show. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? All right, I'm just ripping through these. They're on screen. Hello? Hey, what's up? Not uh, much. You it's can a, take it. Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. No. It's the Tom Likas show. Can you name the artist we're listening to? It's uh, Condoleezza Rice. Condoleezza Rice. No. It's the Tom Likas show. Are you there? Yes, I am. Can you name the artist here? I was going to guess Christina Aguilera. No, nope, no. Interesting guess, but no. Can you name the artist of this song on the Tom Likas show? Is it uh, Ashley Simpson, Tom? No, second Ashley Simpson guess. Wrong as much as it was the first time. The Tom Likas show, hello. What's up, Tom? How you doing, brother? I'm doing okay. Can you name the artist here? Gloria Allred. Gloria Allred, no. It's the Tom Likas show. Can you name the artist here? Paul Abdul. Paul Abdul, no, not quite. The Tom Likas show, are you there? Yes, I am, Jessica Alba. It is not Jessica Alba. The Tom Lika Show. Can you name the art the artist here? Uh, Miley Cyrus. No, no. Someone already guessed Hannah Montana. That kind of be the same thing. All right, I'm going to give you a clue. Are you ready for the clue? In fact, let me read to you from her MySpace page. Here is what she says: I am all about my music, and my music is all about me. It flows from what I've been through, what I've seen, and how I feel. I live in New York, and I'm on top of the world. Been here since 2004, and I love this city. I love my life here, but my path has not been easy. When I was 17, I left home. It was my decision, and I've never looked back. Left my hometown, left a broken family, left abuse... Left an older brother who had already split. Left and learned what it was like to have everything and lose it again and again. Learned what it was like to wake up one day and have the people you care about most gone. I have been alone. I have abused drugs. I have been broke and homeless. But I survived on my own. I am here in New York because of my music. It's the Tom Lika Show. Who is this artist? Obama's girl? No, it's the Tom Likas show. Hello. Uh, Rihanna? No, it is not Rihanna. The Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, is it Hillary Clinton? Hillary Clinton. Not quite. The Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey. Hey. I'm, I'm guessing uh, uh, Deborah Harry. Deborah Harry? Yeah, Blondie. You remember her? Yeah, I, well, I do, but... <laughs> I didn't know the AARP was giving discounts on recording sessions. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Let's try you. Do you know the name of the artist here? Is it uh, Paris Hilton? That is not Paris Hilton. No. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. It's the turkey neck, Dr. Laura. It is not Dr. Laura. It's the Tom Likas Show. We read from her MySpace page. Do you know who this is? Guess you don't. Hey, are you there? Yeah. All right, now we read from her MySpace page. We've played you her single. 
Okay, I was wondering if it was Scarlett Johansson. It is not Scar- Did she make an album? She did make an album, and it's coming out at oh. the same time Alanis Morissette's album's coming out. Well, she is from New York, but uh, no. The Tom Likas Show. Hello, who's the artist? Lindsay Lohan. It is not Lindsay Lohan. Hello, the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, it's Beyonce. It is not Beyonce. Boy, I wish it sounded like Beyonce. The Tom Likas Show. Uh, who is the artist on this song? Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. No, Alicia Keys is a much better singer than that. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, I'd like to answer the question. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and yeah. answer it. Okay. Uh, Scarlett Johansson. You're the second person to say that. You should be listening. Hello. Hi, I think it's uh, the girl from the Pussycat Dolls, the lead singer. It is not the girl from the Pussycat Dolls. Hello. Can you name the artist? I don't know who it is, but whoever it is, it's horrible. Yes, I agree with that. That's first good guess I've heard. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi there. Can you name the artist? The Jewel. It is not Jewel. <laughs> good guess, though, because Jewel started doing dance music. Remember when her career started going downhill? She started doing dance music. Didn't help. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I'm going to guess Miss Bootylicious Vida Guerra. No, not even, no, no, but she's from New Jersey, not New York. Okay, I got it. Okay. The Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, hello. Let's try you. Do you know the name of the artist? Is it Jewel? It is not Jewel. Second guess for Jewel, it was wrong the first time. Hello. Hi, I'm calling. It's Mary J. Blige. It is not Mary J. Blige. The Tom Likas Show, hello. Yeah, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey, hardly. The Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey there. Hey there. Who is the artist of this song? You don't know. The Tom Likas Show, hello. Yeah, hello. Hi there, can you name the artist? Uh, J-Lo. It is not J-Lo. It is about as bad as J-Lo, but no. Hello, Tom Likas Show. Hello? Yes, can you name the artist of this song? Uh, the prostitute that was with us. Yes, it's the prostitute. It is the prostitute who allegedly serviced quiet number nine at the Mayflower Hotel in room 871. And her name is Ashley Alexandra Dupree. Congratulations, sir. How did you guess? happened to be at my uh, dad's house and I saw it on the TV. I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's that you you are the first one to guess correctly. It's the woman alleged to be client number nine's prostitute. The one that uh well apparently resulted in the resignation of the governor of New York State. Yeah, how funny is that? Now if you go to her MySpace page, the total number of plays on that song is fifty three thousand three hundred twenty nine. Thirty six thousand plus of those are today. <laughs> so you can only guess. Uh, what kind of activity that page is getting. Holy cow. Amazing. Good work. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There she is. Ashley Alexandra Dupree, who is uh, <laughs> the woman at the center of the controversy. If you read the uh, the uh, federal documents uh, that we showed you from the smoking gun on our website, blowmeuptom.com, she was the one known as Kristen. She's the one who allegedly went from New York City to D.C. to service client number nine. And apparently she was interviewed by the New York Times and is not denying any of this. She's hired an attorney. There's the deal. Did you hear, uh, <laughs> did you hear, uh, Elliot Spitzer in his resignation speech today? <laughs> yes, he'll be hearing this song in his sleep. In the past few days, I've begun to atone for my private failings with my wife, Soda, my children, and my entire family. The remorse I feel will always be with me. Words cannot describe how grateful I am for the love and compassion they have shown me. From those to whom much is given, much is expected. I have been given much. The love of my family, the faith and trust of the people of New York, and the chance to lead the state. I am deeply sorry that I did not live up to what was expected of me. To every New Yorker and to all those who believed in what I tried to stand for, I sincerely apologize. I look at my time as governor 
with a sense of what might have been. But I also know that as a public servant, I and the remarkable people with whom I worked have accomplished a great deal. There is much more to be done, and I cannot allow my private failings to disrupt the people's work. Over the course of my public life, I have insisted, I believe correctly, that people, regardless of their position or power, take responsibility for their conduct. I can and will ask no less of myself. For this reason, I am resigning from the office of governor. At Lieutenant Governor Patterson's request, the resignation will be effective Monday, March 17, a date that he believes will permit an orderly transition. I go forward with the belief, as others have said, that as human beings, our greatest glory consists not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. As I leave public life, I will first do what I need to do to help and heal myself and my family. Then I will try once again, outside of politics, to serve the common good and to move toward the ideals and solutions which I believe can build a future of hope and opportunity for us and for our children. I hope all of New York will join my prayers for my friend David Patterson as he embarks on his new mission. And I thank the public once again for the privilege of service. Thank you very much. Former New York Governor Elliot Spitzer resigning today. And here's the girl at the heart of it all. one 800 800 Tommy's our telephone number. Your telephone calls are coming up next. Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. My curriculum vitae is as follows I'm a cunning linguist and a master debater. I'm also uh, I'm an amateur gynecologist. I've got Russian hands and Roman fingers. And on top of that, I also am the one and only state board certified interpreter who can interpret women into English. Oh, okay. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5-800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> oh, God, it's too good. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Okay. So you heard, uh, you heard the work of the woman who supposedly serviced client number nine. What do you think about that? Jason on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Great to be on. Listen, I just wanted to say uh, I think it's disgusting and despicable that this bitch is going to get all sorts of public uh, notoriety and, and, and attention. And you can bet there's, you know, news shows chomping at the bit to get her and pay her for interviews while uh, Spitzer's career is completely trashed and ruined. So... And just imagine his daughters uh, having to hear that song, the uh, Spitzer Sisters. Yep, and so this is this is just going to help her music <laughs> career. You know, it's like it it just disgusts me. You know, you get these 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 women that make their living off of sleazebag men that pay for sex, and it, it disgusts me more than the guys that are paying for sex. It's kind of like, you know, the only thing worse than a than a crackhead is the person pushing the crack. And that's what well, I, here's uh, let me say one thing on behalf of the alleged hooker here, okay? Um, she did not know she was going to get caught. She did not make an attempt to get caught. Uh, to our knowledge, she didn't tell anybody that she was uh, riding uh, Governor Spitzer like a pony. She didn't tell that to anybody. Well, that's, So that's it's not true. like she tried to get a leg up in her career by getting a leg up on the governor. That's true, but... but, but. I guess my disgust is would be more toward the public that's going to uh, 
it's going to have a have a big fascination with her, and it's just going to boost her her record sales and whatever, and her public uh, image as a as a uh, you know pop icon, like the latest you know this week's pop icon. And uh, I think it's pretty despicable. And I'm sure she's going to well. Just know, imagine, turn down, just imagine, turn down the America's and daughters are going to be buying that single. Absolutely, and you know what? <laughs> just like. Uh, uh, just like Britney Spears and and all of the other and Paris Hilton and all of the other whores that produce uh, uh, music, if you can even call it that, uh, sure, dads and moms are going to be buying it for their daughters, and they're going to be uh, they're going to be uh, encouraging their their daughters to become just like that, you know. And uh, so it's just a sad state of affairs. It's pretty uh, pretty despicable. Yeah. I understand where you're coming from, Jason. I thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. Hey, I was just wanted to comment on that song. It wasn't that bad. I mean, imagine that chick up on a stripper pole doing a little dance to it. I mean, <laughs> you know, it wasn't that bad. And then once again, the governor should have been following your rules. He wouldn't be in too much trouble. Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, why why is he getting married, man? I, I'll put it this way: you can put all the uh, Spitzer girls now on uh, your tickler file because they've pretty much been ruined by this. Yeah, you'll be able to get your hands on them as soon as they're eighteen and above. You'll be able to get your hands on them. <laughs> they'll they'll hate their dad. That's true. They'll, they'll be true. miserable, and they'll be the first ones you can just jump into the sack with who'll do whatever you want. That's true. There's going to be a new crop of girls buying that new song, doing the little dance to it. That, that's exactly right. All right. Thanks, Tom. You take me out, Kobe. Here you go, John. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 The Spitzer Sisters. What were their names again? Sarah Beth Spitzer? <laughs> I forget the other ones. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We'll be playing that the S-Factor class that Silda Spitzer will soon be taking. Because <laughs> she'll need to attract a new guy. It's probably a borough president she can uh, cozy up to. 1-800-5800-866. That's our telephone number. Uh, it's Jeff on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what's good with you, man? You are more hip-hop than this chick, man. The way you talk, <laughs> you sound more like a hip-hop artist. You should be T to the L. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and also, too, my brother, is it, if, if, if she's promoting herself on her MySpace, didn't she break the law as well? Is she going to be prosecuted? Well, we don't know yet. Uh, we do know she has an attorney. We do know that she is appearing as a witness. It's possible, and it would be my guess, having read a lot of these stories, that if she appears as a witness, they'll give her immunity from prosecution in exchange for giving up the names of who hired her. I love it. Rappers getting shot to go platinum and girls both ways. The music and what she does for a living. How about that? <laughs> I teach it. I love your show, brother. Thank you, Jeff. All right. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Sam on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great, Sam. Good. I just wanted to say, you know, it may be immoral or whatever he's, you know, did with the call girls and stuff. But what about what our governor is doing in California? You know, taking the money from education. I don't see anybody talking about that. So it's not sexy. Yeah, I guess not. That's not but, like having... Uh, I guess that's true. That's all I just wanted to say, because, you know... All, so all our governor ever did was grope a little ass once in a while. <laughs> kind of boring, huh? Come on! He, did he ever go... Did he ever take a room in another state and and and, 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 and truck in some uh, hoes so he could uh, get his <laughs> crank in? No! Oh, maybe he should. I don't know. I just think that uh, we should be discussing that. I mean, not on your show, but that that should be a more important issue than um, who you sleep with and what you pay to sleep with people. Uh, on this show, there is not a more important <laughs> subject than that. That's true. Now, Have a good day, you know, Mom. by the way, you know what shows? You know what shows do talk about those things? What the kind of shows with a caller sound like this? 
<laughs> Dennis, right. I love your show. I love your program. I listen all the time. You're so well informed, Dennis. <laughs> Oh, I know. But I'm just saying, even the other shows are talking about him, you know? Yes. Everybody's talking about him. Yeah. Tell you what? I think we should just, you know, that should be his own business as long as he's not spending... It's your own business as long as you're not putting people in jail yourself. Yeah, I guess. You see, if you're going to have laws like this... And it's your job to enforce the laws. And you announce, hey, we're getting tough on prostitution. And then you're arresting people in Staten Island for having prostitution rings and stuff like that, which he was. Then, then, then you better not be doing what you're busting other people for doing. That's true. I mean, again, I, I don't think prostitution should be illegal. Right, I agree. But if it wasn't illegal, people like Elliot Spitzer couldn't get elected by promising to break up prostitution rings. True. He got elected by promising to end prostitution in New York. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and he had, a, he had a game plan. The game plan was to keep all the prostitutes busy in room 871 so they couldn't be out there uh, being prostitutes with everybody else. Right. He didn't end it for everybody but himself. Right. Right. Yes. He, he took on all, he, he took that burden on himself. So do you think his wife will stay with him? This is just a front or what? I think she'd be a fool to stay with him. She should take, uh, take off while she can. Yeah. I think I I have no respect for her for standing up there with him yesterday and today. She stood up there with him. I agree with you. I agree. Are you now? They're saying it may have been a hundred thousand dollars she spent on these hookers. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, those those girls better be going to college. I'll tell you what, a hundred thousand uh, dollars. Oh, baby. <laughs> and then they then to, to have one of them sing like this. Oh. Yep. All right, Tom. Thanks for taking my call. Darling, thank you. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Like It. In this day and age, for a man to get married, he's only looking to lose. It's the Tom Like It Show. Tom, here we are coming here from Hollywood, California. And uh, we have been playing you, in case you're just joining us, a song from the MySpace page of the woman accused of being the prostitute in the Governor Elliot Spitzer case. We'll play you a little piece of that now, in case you missed it before. Uh, the New York Times has uh, revealed who this person is. I guess they did the legwork based on the federal documents. And, of course, MySpace, that's where all you morons post all that personal information about yourselves. And then the law enforcement authorities and prospective employers all look it up on there and uh, nail you. But uh, we found uh, the woman who supposedly serviced client number nine. playing this while they were banging away. Maybe she brought a boom box. Oh. 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 It's quiet number nine style. Oh, yeah. And roommate 71. About 10 p.m. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Rose on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. I can't believe I finally got through to you. First of all, I hadn't heard that it was like a hundred thousand dollars because I don't have one leg at two o'clock and one leg at ten o'clock all afternoon. I work for a living. 
Did I hear correctly? It was a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, investigators are saying that it could be as well. They, yesterday they said eighty thousand, and today oh. they say it could be between eighty and a hundred thousand dollars. Oh my God! And did he say? Oh, I made a mistake. A mistake is when like you, your husband does it once. Okay, he messed up. The guy went time after time, didn't he? I made a mistake the other day. I intended to use my American Express card, and instead I pulled out my Visa. <laughs> now that's, okay, a yeah, that's a mistake. This guy went over and over again. He's addicted, okay? I'm addicted to cookies. I don't mistakenly eat one or two. I'm addicted to that stuff, okay? I just tell him, I just want you to know that I'm about your age, and part of my parental duties is to raise my kids to be good and to listen to you. I make my son. I don't tell him. I make him whenever he's in the car with me. You're going to listen to Tom. And he is addicted to you. He listens to you every day. He, You're great. You're the best. I wish I would have known about you five years ago when my girls were growing up. They're getting married. But my son is, there's no girl that's going to take advantage of him because he listens to you. And I, I just wanted to personally thank you. Thank you, Rose. dad he didn't grow up with. You betcha, baby. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you, Rose. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Jeremy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. Hey, I think this is so funny that he sprung his own trap. He he set out all these guys for a prostitution sting, and he walked right into his own thing. Man. <laughs> it's so typical of men, isn't it? Uh, well, I, it's so typical of politicians, and especially typical of these people who say they're going to clean up. They're the, the new sheriff in town. They're going to eliminate corruption. They're the ones to look out for. Well, yeah, I think that... Uh... You know, the main reason to get this guy out of office is he wasn't even smart enough to figure out where his sting operation was and avoid it. Well, this was not his sting operation. This was uh, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI. And the reason he was being investigated was because uh, the bank where he does business was noticing that he was wiring a lot of odd amounts of money. And one of the things he did, you know, every time there's a transfer of more than $10,000, the bank is supposed to report that to the federal government because of money laundering concerns, terrorism concerns, drug dealing concerns, what have you. So the bank thought it was especially suspicious because I guess somewhere along the way he tried to transfer more than $10,000. And the bank said, well, uh, we have to then report that to the government. So he tried to break it into smaller pieces, like as three different transactions of less than $10,000 apiece so that he wouldn't get caught. The bank reported that as suspicious activity to the FBI, and the FBI thought that he was doing it because, as a politician, he was accepting bribes. So they started investigating him. Wow. They didn't even know prostitution was involved when they started. It's all in the paper today. Oh, well, that's really interesting. Well, anyways, this other girl, what's her name? Love Potion number 9? <laughs> I think I think that, you know, America's probably going to put her up on a pedestal because we just love to idolize whores. I know. Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, Playboy is probably calling her right about now. Uh, oh, yeah, you, Oprah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, Maxim. They're all calling. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. One more thing before I go. Um, I got the new test for uh, man's best friend. What's that? You, you take your girl and you take your dog and you put them in the trunk of your car and you leave them there for about two hours. And when you come back, you see which one's happy to see you. <laughs> Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, bud? I'm okay, John. Great. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I saw in the smoking gun about 15 minutes ago that the... Uh, the girl that the governor hired was informed before meeting with him that there were going to be some dangerous activities that she needed to be prepared for. Well, yes. And uh, my now, again, I'm guessing because it doesn't say what they are, but I'm guessing it had to do with having sex without a condom. Well, I was thinking back door. <laughs> no, I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> not not the service entrance. I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> Well, hey, Tom, I just wanted to let you know, man. Keep doing the Lord's work. I, I am indeed. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Rob in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, thanks for picking up the call. Sure. Hey, I'm wondering about uh, clients 1 through 8 and 10 through whatever. I wonder how big <laughs> this is going to go. <laughs> Who are they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> I doubt number nine was the only one they picked up. <laughs> and did you see Mrs. Nine was up there at the podium again today? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can have too much respect. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> I didn't see the Spitzer sisters, though. His daughters. Well, I hope we don't see uh, Laura Bush standing up there next to him sometime. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there's actually a new uh, movie out with the bank job that has a similar uh, predicament in it. Really? Yeah, it's got a similar sort of storyline where uh, people in the government higher up are uh, implicated in a brothel. Amazing how life imitates art, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rob. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Jason on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, I was wondering if uh, you think uh, her uh, music career is going to explode after being with Client 9. Well, a lot more than it will based on her talent, I'll tell you that. Yeah, so, I'll, you know, I, she she's going to, I don't know, she's going to be uh a big star now. Cause I'll tell you what, if I were a DJ in a New York club, that would be in the A rotation. I'd be playing that every hour tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting how Hollywood works. Well, uh, it works that way because uh, they give the people what we want. And we yeah. love scandal and we love controversy. We love saying how terrible something is and then we love buying it. Yeah. All right, man, I just wanted to see what you thought. Um, take me out Client 9 style. Client 9 style. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Neil on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Yes. Hey, my brother from another mother. Tom, how are you, buddy? I'm okay, Neil. Listen, I got a story for you. I got involved with an escort last year. Okay, I met her in a twelve step meeting. I thought it was going to be a little tryst. And my buddy said, "Whatever you do, do not get emotionally involved." Well, what did I do? I got emotionally involved. I got wrapped up in her world. You know, I don't know if you know this, but there's a whole network of review boards and this Internet. I'd seen her with clients. I mean, I, I did it all, Tom, and it was nuts. It was hard to get out of it because it was exciting. I know the type of guys that go. I'm also a bona fide sex addict. I'm in recovery for that. These guys don't care. They're into the hunt. They're into the, the whole ritual of the thing. And by the way, he implemented the software program when he was attorney general to the banks to flag transactions way under $10,000. He set his own trap, Tom. <laughs> I love it. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Carol on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? Great. I just wanted to let you know I love your show. First of all, we'll get to the prostitute, but i got to tell you, I love your show. I used to drive my car with a frown on my face. Now I'm laughing. People think I'm crazy because you make me laugh so hard. <laughs> I trip out on you totally, Tom. You're great. And and Chris Thomas, if you're listening, thank you, baby. I love you. But anyway, Tom, back to the prostitute. You know what? She's a prostitute. It happens all over. The governor, the president, whoever. You know what? Prostitution's everywhere. It ain't going to stop. And what other, what other governor, what other, what other uh, president hasn't had a prostitute? They just haven't got caught. They just haven't got caught. You know? Well, I have no idea. But I only care about the ones who do get caught. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.